Yeah. Let's go check up on the boat first. Sure. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Wow. Here, you can hold that. So I'm not sure what we're doing today, what's going on, or what I'm recording, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride for whatever it is that we're gonna do today. First things first, we gotta check up on the Domsey. Next year, I want to stay in the houseboat. We sleep right here, and our boat's right here. My room's right there, my boat's right here. I slept in this one, I've slept in that one. But she looks good, she's still floating. She looks good. I like the scale right here with the twin, the twin four hundreds. Real nice. Yo, everybody's getting ready to have a good time. So we decided instead of taking an Uber or a taxi into town, we're just gonna walk into town and enjoy the Key West lifestyle. I mean, uh, this house doesn't look a little spooky these two houses and it's right in front of a cemetery over the ground cemetery this house looks spooky spooky like this house should be a haunted house for Halloween no no way Look at this beauty. It's a motion. Nice. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get the drone up guys. I'm having a little bit of issue flying a drone in Key West. Ain't easy. It's my first time, and let me tell you, it ain't easy. Everything is restricted down here, so I gotta ask for permission, and hopefully they send me the the passcode so I can fly and get you guys some amazing footage. But look at this MTI right here. I would love to go on a ride one of these things. We took off. And I, Let's I go, back, Brandon. And I was like, Holy <laughs> fuck. Right. There's a fucking crack right through the fucking the fiberglass couch. Nice. I really want to try to get the drone up. I'm going to try it right here. This is a perfect spot. Woo. Remember, I'm a new drone pilot, guys, so I'm still getting a hold of this. Oh, yeah. gonna see we're here in the Key West Harbor and all the big boys are getting ready to go out for a nice little raft up unfortunately I don't have a boat to go out there in today so I'm gonna try to get as best footed oh look at this guy in the background nice man Hi, very nice. Let's 
see. I'm a, I'm a new drone pilot, guys. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to lose my new drone. So this is why I'm not going too, too crazy. But look at this shot. Look at this guy right here. Watch the drone for me, babe. Nice. Very nice. There's DJ. Come and look at this boat right here. See what this is. I have no idea what this is. All right, cool. Oh yeah, look at this right here. Nice. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at this one. This is a nice one right here. I like what it says. I really like what this boat says on the side of it. See if I can get close up to it. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for the background music, but... Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we can see any nice boats here. You hear that motion? I'm next to the orange motion. Alright guys, we're changing up the scenery. We're in the other side of the island and we're gonna look at all the race boats that are getting ready for the big day tomorrow. Today is not a race day, today is a chill day and a prep day. So everybody's in the pits, is getting everything ready. I like their toolbox. Look at their toolbox. So this is a new class that's coming out with some stock 450s. Oh yeah. And these guys were dominating the race yesterday to be honest. Yeah. 
We're probably not allowed back there. That's where they keep the cranes to lift the boats in and out of the water. Look at that, i never seen that. A dually trailer? They're dually wheels. I know, Canada. Canadian race boat. Yami's a big Canada lover. She actually wants to move to Canada. So. Definitely have a nice rig over here. Bikini lives matter. <laughs> getting in trouble anywhere I take you, you get in trouble I ain't get in trouble look these people have a parts engine ready to go in the boat so they blow engines they just put other engines in it I blew an, I blew an $80,000 engine cool I got another one in the truck put it in I got a race tomorrow this thing is sexy looking This is a backup motor, you know. I'm gonna need it. This is when my dad blew up right here, the transmission. This is the issue that my dad couldn't come on the run or all the way in the run, it's because he blew that up. So, thankfully, it had warranty and he's gonna get it replaced, but she's gonna be out of commission for the next few weeks. Look how, look how serious it is how it's always something that these race teams have their own engine hoist truck. Like, that's how committed these guys are to this sport. 
Right? They know the engine is gonna blow. So we need a truck to get it out when it blows. I need another one to go in and then send the other one for rebuild. They're both 16 cylinder blocks. Wow. One block, 16 cylinders. And what is power for 16 cylinders? So these natural, no supercharged, no nothing. They're 1100 horsepower. 1100 and this is all naturally aspirated no supercharged on nothing, these nothing and then just a few part swaps uh bringing things up it uses mostly all ls parts okay so a few part swaps you can get up to 1400 and then supercharged you can do 2000 per. nice man yeah that's dope i didn't i didn't know they had so it's uh it's a new company it's called 16 power Six. these are the first official motors in a race car okay and, uh, we went out for tests today because uh just uh, safety and tech and stuff has been, uh, I don't know, it's new, so yeah. we've been kind of jumping through the hoops, so we should be good to race Sunday. What are your first impressions of the engines? Oh, they're amazing. So my dad built these engines. Okay. And uh, I'm here with him, and then Jeff Stevenson owns this boat and these engines. Okay. So JBS racing. Okay. And then, uh, they're fucking beautiful. So uh, I'll, I want to hear how these sounds. They sound like they're doing like twice the power but not working nearly as hard nice so it's, they like, just... it's very controlled and the idle is so smooth and uh like this boat here with the 1100s will do 150. 150? yeah nice the man. water is just... no no of course yeah <laughs> like i don't even want to be in <laughs> yeah i'm just trying to do 75 i'm mine that's perfect yeah. <laughs> that's what i like <laughs> With have goggles on. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, 16 cylinders each motor times two motors is 32. Times two injectors on each cylinder, 32, 64 injectors. So, do the math. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like this is like an Alaskan brand, bro. Or uh, Canadian. It has like the Canadian colors. Canadian vibes. Definitely Canadian vibes right here. Swedish. Nice. And they have them numbered. That's dope. Alright guys. So I got the drone up in the air again. And we're gonna go for a little flight. Let's see what we see. Oh, look at that. We're in the race pits. And it looks like they're check like they're flying. It looks like they're testing out the boats before tomorrow. But it's a beautiful day here in Key West. Look at this. I am at 120 feet right now. I'm going to be as cautious as I can. I'm not going to fly over people. I'm just going to watch the race from right here. So that's a race course right there. You can see where they're we're turning. Yeah, visual, the I'm, I'm at 122 feet. Okay, well, there we go. We know my eyesight is. Let's see. Let's come a down lower to this guy.
look at this. This is what Key West is looking like on Power Boat Weekend. I know that lesbian mayor. How's <laughs> it going, man? Yeah, it's a good day. Yes, sir. The firm. These are the guys that flipped over yesterday. This boat was upside down yesterday. This is the. They also go on the poker runs with us. This is Boat, boat Depot's boat. They're from the Keys. They're local here in the Keys. Boat Depot. Very pretty. I love their paint scheme. What's up, how brother? You doing? Good, good, man. How you doing? Good. Hey, how's it going, bro? Good. How are you? Very nice. Very nice. Wow, very nice. Look at this. <laughs> yeah guys this is a little walkthrough of the pits this is how it looks like on a chill saturday everybody's getting ready for mañana they're not so chill they're prepping they're prepping a prep day is not always it's not always a chill day but <laughs> chill always you know it's always something when it comes to boats even if it's a navigation light it's gonna be something so let's see let's go to the other side and i don't know what's next um pool party beach hotel i'm not sure i'm not sure 